How's it everyone? We're back in Nevada and this is the last weekend of winter and over the past several weeks uh, Nevada has been blessed with a large amount of rain and snow and uh, to the point where last summer when we were driving around various lakes I was just noting how low the water levels were and uh, I wanted to be driving around today to uh, see for myself and for you guys to see how much uh, lake levels have improved over the winter so uh, let's check it out that's quite an improvement the levels on the left side of the causeway were really really low and in the middle of the screen that's uh, where a pipe was that would uh, allow water from the flow from the left to the right of the screen going downstream that thing was uh, sucking air last time we were here but not anymore that's pretty cool you can see on the left side how much algae grew when the water level dropped and there's much more embankment around the uh, lake that was exposed when the water level dropped down and it goes all the way around to the left dry 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 I was guessing in another year or two there'd just be nothing but mud Fortunately, we got uh, the additional rainfall, so it's not as bad as you saw previously. And of course, being winter, there's not a whole lot of uh, waterfowl in the area, although we did see some, uh, some animals paddling around. Lower Paranaget was about as muddy as this last time. When we drove by it, it was nice and blue. I'll bring it back. Just want to make sure I have enough time to get to the other lakes. I'm going to try to get to Eagle Valley. Unfortunately, the road to Eagle Valley has been closed since uh, Wednesday. The last update was Friday, so being Saturday, I don't know if uh, the road is still inundated or not. Here the drone is flying at about 250 feet, so you get a better view of the upstream portion of the lake and how really drawn down it was at the time. Water clarity it was really brown back in October. Still a little on the brownish side, but it's mainly because of the time of year with all the additional infill just kicking up more sediment throughout the whole upper lake. Now back in 2020, the water level at Echo Dam in East Central Lincoln County was really, really drawn down as well. It's getting kind of depressing looking at the low water levels. But then yesterday, oh, what a difference a couple of years made. There's still a lot of runoff upstream up at Eagle Valley that uh, is moving downstream. It even uh, crosses the road, so you can't legally drive to Eagle Valley without having to go through Utah and there's much more flow moving into the lake and I'm going to pan the drone to the left 
So you can see upstream, just more uh, flow coming downhill. And swing the camera over to the right. Reservoir levels are clearly much higher than they were two years ago, or three years ago. And then looking at the overflow spillway, water level not quite up to that level. And we'll move past the dam. You can see how the water is being released. And at one point, the released water, not from the normal outfall, but from the uh, spillway that's to the right, you'll see shortly, really, uh, really impacted the downstream portion of the dam. There's a dirt road that actually washed away. And there's still significant flow coming out of the dam. I think managers are trying to release more water before uh, additional rains hit in a few days. And you can see coming into view is the spillway. There was a lot more vegetation last time I was here in this area. All that got washed away. And you can see the uh, underscoring that occurred when water left the reservoir and made its way around the bend to the downstream portion. Look at all that erosion. And there was talk of possibly the, uh, the dam failing at one point, so they put uh, the state officials to put a monitor on site to keep an eye on the uh, impacts of the unintentional release. Similar view, just from uh, about 300 feet. You can see the dirt road on the left just got washed away and the uh, corrugated metal pipe that acted as a, uh, a drain going under the road got washed downstream. And look at all that erosion. You can imagine towards the top of the uh, frame here, water going over the spillway, curving to the left and taking out everything in its path. It shows you the uh, power of mother nature.